in today's episode, we're going to be reviewing the Fox Base Frame Pro Chest Guard that I've been riding on my mountain bike to protect my chest, back, and even my shoulders. Yo, and welcome back to Danscapes. I hope you're all doing very well. As you know, I like to go out on my mountain bike and go have some fun, escape from the bliss that is London and all its noise and go out into the countryside and just send it down some trails with my noisy hub creating disturbance in nature. But yes, I love it anyway. But when it comes to mountain biking, one of the biggest fears is obviously injuring myself. You know, I like to be able to walk the next day, carry on doing stuff like jujitsu or just going to work because Breaking stuff isn't very fun and it's not cool. So while I've been mountain biking, I've invested in a lot of protective gear from different helmets, from the full face to just a normal trail helmet, elbow pads, knee pads. And one thing that I've always wanted to get into is wearing a chest pad. So enter the Fox Base Frame Pro Chest Guard. But before we get into the review of this chest guard, I'd kindly like to ask you to like this video and subscribe to my channel as it helps a lot and I appreciate it so, so much. So now I'm gonna go over the features of this Base Frame Pro Chest Guard. And the main one is you can wear it underneath a t-shirt. So either a long sleeve t-shirt or a short sleeve t-shirt, it will go underneath and you hardly know that you're wearing one. Um, also, it comes with this breathable mesh like kind of compression top, which sits close to skin. So it's quite tight, which means, you know, it, all these pads are close to you, so they're not gonna move about. So another feature is obviously, cause you're gonna be wearing this a lot is you'll sweat in it and it's gonna start to smell, especially in the underarm department. And you can remove all these pads and take them out. So like I'm gonna do now, let's take the chest guard out. So there you go. Now I've just removed the chest guards. So now you can remove all the pads and wash this compression top so it's smelling nice and fresh for next time you ride. Now the biggest thing with this top is it comes with D3O protection. So if you look, it's a very malleable product. You know, you can, it's very flexible, means it can move with your body when you're riding, going into different positions as well. But the good thing with D3O is it hardens on impact. So say you come off your bike and smash into a rock, what happens is this hardens on impact and then goes back to its flexible state. So it's really nice, very lightweight as well. And as you can see, there's loads of holes in it. So it's great for breathability. But I don't really know how D3 works. I've seen lots of videos of people wearing it around their hands and getting a hammer and smashing their hand and it doesn't do anything. But, you know, Fox have been using it in their knee guards now. So it seems to be a product that here's to say and works very well just because of that flexible nature when you've got plastic over the top it's very rigid i know it's gonna have really good protection but it means you can't wear it so i haven't tried one of the conventional chest plates that fox make and i kind of want to try one out just to compare it to this so where it's got padding is obviously in the chest in the shoulders both of them and also in the back. So your spine is fully protected. These are very good positive features, you know, having flexible pads, which can move with your body, wearing it underneath your clothing so it's not on top. Also very breathable with all the holes in the chest guard, in the back protectors, and also in the shoulder guards as well. And personally, I think this system is pretty lightweight, you know, considering it's a chest guard and there's lots of pads going on, it doesn't weigh too much. And you obviously don't feel that, but I'll get onto that when it comes to the performance side of things. So the main negatives I picked out from this jersey are mainly the shoulder pads. Uh, they're great that they're there because obviously I need it. Um, sometimes I have dodgy shoulders and it's nice to protect those but they can restrict your movement, especially when you're putting your arm above your head and you know trying to move around like that, you know, it feels a bit uncomfortable. And that's the only time you really notice that you're wearing this chest guard. If the shoulder protection really annoys you that much, you can remove them and then just wear it without them. Look at that, freedom of movement. The other thing is obviously being a compression top, it is quite tight on your body. So for some people, they might find that a bit uncomfortable. Personally, I'm used to wearing tight compression tops when it comes to jujitsu and training a lot. I always used to wear one. So for me, it just feels natural having one on. Um, but I know for a lot of people, they might find that restrictive. All right, so as for performance, well, 
it performed really well. I really enjoyed it. The one thing I did not test doing it was having a crash. Uh, fortunately, I didn't ride my bike hard enough, so I wasn't crashing when I tested this out. But it was a very hot day and I was at the bike park for quite a long time. So I probably got there about 1.30 and finished about 5.30. So, you know, like I was nearly riding for like three, four hours. Uh, it was quite continuous as well. And, you know, it did get hot and sweaty uh, because the sun was out. I was wearing a long sleeve at the time as well, which wasn't a breathable top. It was quite thick cotton. So, you know, maybe if I was wearing something very light, it would breathe a lot better. But when there was a big gust of wind, I did feel it and I could feel it all through my chest. So it, these holes in the chest guard are very breathable and it was very welcome, especially as I was sweating, mainly because I was wearing a full face as well and that's not a very breathable one. So I was sweating buckets actually. Yeah, as I said, the only big bug for me is the shoulder pads. When you're going like that, say so you're trying to just stretch out, these start digging into your arm. It's not, you know, the be all end all, but you know, you do notice it. But when you're riding your bike, your arms are gonna be down here anyway. As for the movement, you know, I felt very good on. It's very flexible that, you know, it doesn't feel uncomfortable as well, especially when I'm wearing this next to skin. You do notice it, but it's not like abrasive or anything like that. It's quite nice and soft. So, you know, but everyone's skin type is different. So it might feel different on your skin and be quite irritating. But for me, it just feels quite normal, quite enjoy it. Probably wear this to Jiu Jitsu and see what the other guys do. Do some shoulder nudges in the face, you know, MMA style. As for protection, let me just grab a hammer. Got my trusty hammer there and I'm gonna just test out a few bits. So that feels pretty solid here. Let's do it on the chest. It's, it's kind of got a sting to it. Yeah, you kind of feel it where it's not really sitting on my chest properly and it kind of slaps against my skin. But other than that, you know, you can't feel it through like where it's sitting tight. It's really, really good. Let's do this one. I'm just gonna look mental just bashing myself with a hammer right now. So that's on my spine. Obviously you've still got exposure here. So your floating ribs are at risk of breaking. And obviously the lower bit of my spine here and where else does it, about here. So, you know, it's not a full protective bodyguard, but you know, it's protecting the key areas, you know, making sure your lungs don't compress and around your sternum. So, you know, making sure you don't hit a rock and it's cuts through into your heart and blows open. So my other bugbear is actually taking this thing off. It's not that hard to put on. It's really easily goes on pretty well, but when you take it off, it's just, especially if you've been sweating, it gets stuck to your chest, especially the, where the plastic bits are. And obviously the way these things move, it's kind of awkward. So, you know, you might have to practice a couple of times to get it on and off, to get it dialed. And I'm not gonna do it now on this channel because that should be for an OnlyFans page doesn't feel uncomfortable. I quite enjoyed it and I liked having that added protection. But you know, some people say it's overkill and maybe I probably won't wear this on all my rides, like small trail rides, but it's those small ones that get you, you know, you get a bit confident and then next thing you know, you're in some tree and you've broken your back because you weren't wearing a chest guard because you thought, oh, this is gonna be an easy ride. So as for the Base Frame Pro chest guard, I'm actually wearing it under this t-shirt right now. Let me know in the comments below, does it look like I'm wearing one or does it just look like I'm very hench? It'd be interesting to know. But would I recommend this product? And 100% I would. I didn't really notice it. It moves really well on your body apart from the shoulder bits. But yeah, let me know in the comments below what you think of this Base Frame Pro chest guard. Is it something you'd wear or are you attached to the old school wear over your t-shirts. And that's something that I should try. Let me know in the comments below, are they uncomfortable to wear? Do you feel restrictive in your movements or do you get on with them really well? You know, that might be something I have to pick up and try myself just to kind of compare it to one of these. So that might be a future video later on. And it'd be interesting to see how many of you have picked this up or tried it yourself or are thinking about picking one up. But yeah, that's it for today's episode. If you enjoyed it, please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel as it helps a lot and I appreciate it so, so much. Hope you're staying safe, staying positive, having fun, and I shall see you in the next one.